get LinkedIn leads in 2023, do's and don'ts. That's the topic of today's video. So if you're a coach or consultant or other service provider who's interested in getting LinkedIn leads in 2023, then you're gonna love this video. Now I put out a ton of content on why LinkedIn is the best platform for selling high ticket, and how to attract high paying clients on LinkedIn. But for today's video, I really want to talk more about tactical do's and don'ts for the platform. As someone who has built a seven figure business on LinkedIn, I can tell you I've seen a lot. And many people jump on the bandwagon of LinkedIn without really understanding how to market to a more sophisticated and professional audience. So to save you time and frustration and perhaps even some embarrassment, I'm going to share with you the do's and don'ts of how to get LinkedIn leads in 2023. Hi, I'm Jessica Yarbrough, and I am a top business strategist and trusted advisor for coaches and consultants who want to sell ultra high ticket services. And my clients come to me when they want to package their genius and then turn around and sell it for high five and even multiple six figures. Obviously the platform of LinkedIn is the best place to work with high ticket clients, especially when targeting either high earning individuals or organizations, whether that's small businesses, all the way up to large corporations. And of course, essential to my client's success is to be able to generate leads on LinkedIn. And look, LinkedIn is a very different social media platform. What works say on Instagram or TikTok or even Facebook doesn't necessarily convert well on LinkedIn. Keep in mind, LinkedIn is a more sophisticated buyer. So some of the internet marketing tips and tricks will turn people off. So let's dive in. Tip number one is that you do want to grow your audience. Look, if you want to land high ticket clients and you want to get LinkedIn leads in 2023, you need to have an audience of people who are potential buyers. So yes, part of your strategy should be to connect with people that are decision makers and could potentially invest in your services. However, you need to do this the right way and take special care and attention through this process, which we'll talk about shortly. This brings me to my first don't. Don't spam people. LinkedIn has changed a lot over the years. It used to be the wild west of B2B networking. LinkedIn didn't used to have restrictions on the number of people that you could add to your network. So back in the day, you could literally add a thousand or 2000 people per month. And this was amazing because it allowed you to rapidly grow an audience of potential buyers that you could directly message and market to. However, naturally LinkedIn turned into spam central. So LinkedIn put a stop to all of that and now restricts you from adding more than hundred to 150 connections or so each week. The positive, is that there is a lot less spamming, but the downside is that it is much slower to add connections and grow your audience. This is why it's essential that you be very intentional about who you're adding. And then once those people accept, you need to be intentional with what you do next. This is why I'm saying don't spam people because if you're going to spam people, they're not going to buy from you and they're all going to likely disconnect. I get at least five messages every week from people asking me if I'd like to have an additional 50 to 75 appointments every week. It's literally a copy paste strategy from lead gen companies. Don't be this person. We're going to talk a little bit more about those companies a little later. So again, do grow your audience and make sure that you're intentional about the people that you're adding, because again, you're pretty limited on that number and then do take care of that relationship so that you don't blow the opportunity to convert them to a paying client either immediately or in the future. The next tip to get LinkedIn leads in 2023 is to provide value. Look, if you want people to know, like, and trust you, then you need to show up as a credible expert. And yes, you do need to provide value. You need to educate people on who you are. You need to show them that you understand what their problems are and have a solution to those problems. So many coaches and consultants don't understand that providing value is an essential aspect of creating rapport with your audience. And when you provide value and when your marketing is done right, people are pre-framed to buy. I always say that the majority of sales happen before a conversation ever even takes place. So if you're wondering, how do I get more leads on LinkedIn in 2023? Start thinking about what kind of value that you can provide people. And this can take shape in the form of videos or written content, documents, live streams, online events, and more. Keep in mind, I teach people how to close ultra high ticket deals. And the fact is the higher the price tag, the more educated the buyer needs to be to make a decision. So provide value, 
show people you know what you're talking about and that you are a credible expert. Speaking of providing value, if you haven't already downloaded my 33 page guide on the ladder of influence, be sure to grab your free copy. It's actually pinned in the comments below. And inside I break down the four levels of influence, how to ascend up, grow your authority and scale a seven figure coaching or consulting business. Next, if you want to get LinkedIn leads in 2023, don't push. And specifically, I'm talking about in the DM. There are so many pushy and aggressive people on LinkedIn, and it's a huge turnoff. There are people that connect with you and immediately push you to come to their just in time webinar, which is actually pre recorded, or their summit. Don't be this person. And by the way, if you're marketing to busy executives, they likely don't have time to watch your webinar or join your summit. That's not a strategy that converts well for a very high level buyer. Remember that the busier someone is and the more money they make, the less time they have to watch your stuff. Other people will connect with you and immediately ask you to do something for them. Like where they ask you to endorse them for different skills or like their business page or even buy their book and you don't even know them. It's bizarre. Others immediately slide into your DM and push you to book a call when they don't even know if you have the problem that they are promising to solve. Being pushy and aggressive does not convert well. And I have never gotten on a phone call or bought from someone that was pushy or aggressive. You can engage, you can provide value of course, and you can invite if they're interested, but don't push which brings me to my next step. And that is to invite the next tip to get LinkedIn leads in 2023 is to invite a prospect to take a next step when they are interested. That's the key guys, when they are interested again, you're not leading with, Hey, I don't know you, but I'm assuming I can help. And here's a link to book a call to buy something you may not need. You lead with value when they engage. Of course, you can invite them to the next step. And now that next step might not be a call. It could be, but it could be joining a group or downloading a resource or coming to an online event. And perhaps it's a call. You do want to take those warm leads to the next step. My point is you want to do it in the right order. So you don't come off as assuming something or being too aggressive and instead become curious and inviting to give you a, a great example. I reached out to a potential client back in April of last year. And his first response to me was, I don't think you can help me. So I got curious and I wrote him back with an intentional response. And the next thing I knew he was on my calendar and invested in my highest level program today. When I talk about with him, we still have a laugh about his first response and that he actually thought I couldn't help him. Imagine if I would have come to the conversation being aggressive or assuming that he needed my help, it would have completely shut him down and said, I got curious. I asked him insightful questions. I gave him some value and perspective. And of course I did invite him to the next step. By the way, he ultimately invested six figures to work with me. So this strategy does work, which brings me to my next don't do to get LinkedIn leads in 2023. And that is automate or abuse. Now I know that there are a lot of LinkedIn lead generations companies out there. Like I mentioned, I get hit up by at least five per week. And many of these are using automation softwares, which can get your account shut down by LinkedIn. And even if you've been using it for a while and your account hasn't been shut down, just know that it's a ticking time bomb and it's not worth it to lose your account because you're using automation. The problem with automation is that while yes, it's faster and easier to grow your audience, it's not perfect. And you can often end up adding people who are not necessarily a fit and then spamming them with message after message after a message without anyone responding. Okay. Another thing that many of these softwares do is borderline abusive. They will literally scrape data from LinkedIn, such as phone numbers and email addresses so that you can then market to them outside of LinkedIn. Let me tell you something. There is nothing more obnoxious than being added to someone's list without opting in or even worse, receiving a text automation from someone, you know, who I didn't authorize to have my phone number. I've had this happen to me so many times. Can you relate? Let me know in the comments below and look, this happens frequently. And if you want to be taken seriously, if you want to connect with buyers that respect you and are going to invest, you know, top dollar with you, don't be abusive and use these sleazy marketing tactics. Take the time to intentionally grow your audience. Take the time to be curious and build relationships. Take the time to provide value, stay in integrity and play the long game. Yes, there is the magic component of time, but I promise you your efforts will have a compounding effect and you will land bigger and better clients.
and the deals can ha happen quickly if you do things the right way. This wraps up my video on how to get LinkedIn leads in 2023, the do's and don'ts. What's been your experience with some of these tactics? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And be sure to check out my other videos on selling high ticket and using the power of LinkedIn to land high ticket deals. Until next time.